Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today in Be Castled. If you haven't seen any of my previous videos, those were for the demo version. Today we're checking out the Early Access game. This was released uh, two days ago now, three days ago now. So let's jump right into a new game, and we got ourselves a new screen here. Uh, so let's go ahead and set it at, we'll do a 10-day map, and let's do Flatlands. And the middle difficulty night, that sounds good. Standard resources and standard neutrals. Fantastic. Let's hop in and see what different things await us in Be Castled. All right, we are in the map here. Let's take a quick peek around. We got some sunstone over here, some stone over there, a little more sunstone there, some water, flowers, some wolves scattered throughout as well. So let's go ahead and plop our castle down, and we've got a couple plots to choose from. And let's go ahead and go right here in the middle of everything. Right there, perfect. All right, so our castle is gonna get built here, and it looks like it's um, similar buildings to the demo. Maybe a couple more, barn, treasury, those are new buildings. Resources look like they're about the same. Military, we got stone walls and stone towers now. Those are new, siege workshop. That's new, and then let's check out the decorations. Some decorations there as well. Fantastic, all right, so we've got our five swordsmen right there. And let's get ourselves a lumber mill going here. And oops, stone quarry, there we go, lumber mill. And we'll tuck that right back there. And then we will also go ahead and start building a house so we can get more population as well. So this game is similar to Stronghold in the sense that it is a castle builder. It is not as in-depth as Stronghold is. Uh, you know, your resource chains aren't as long as you can see. They, um, a little bit of more micromanaging on some parts, but not as much in other parts. Like there I had to assign workers, Stronghold workers would just go. Uh, there's not as many different units. You know, there's the basic units, swordsmen, archers, some siege weapons, other things like that. Uh, but you know, in Stronghold, you could have the Scimitar men, the, the other different units to attack with. This is more player versus enemy, player versus computer. There's no multiplayer right now, maybe in the future, who knows? We'll see what early access brings us. Uh, a couple other differences the, the combat is more when it goes night, it'll go night. And these blue flames here indicate where our enemies will be attacking from. So let's actually move our swordsmen right there okay and then you can only build in the territory you control so we control this white line territory so like if we wanted to capture this territory over here it's going to provide us wood and cows and we can use the cows to uh create food for us and let's go ahead and capture it does take 40 wood to capture but we need to make sure we have a solid source of food so let's go ahead and also build a farm here and we will go ahead and drop that right why can't I drop that right there? There we go. Drop that right there. Perfect. Additionally, your walls can only be built on these white lines. So you can't design your own walls, which is fine. So if we wanted to put a wall here, we would go military. And then since we only got wooden walls, you know, that's 225 wood for us to build that wall there. You can put gates in the walls. You can put um, these ramps up to the walls. There's also towers you can build to put archers in. So we'll get this farm built and then we'll get a good solid source of food. We also are probably gonna need another house to be built here soon. So let's go ahead and plop that down right here as well. Perfect. Now our woodsmen, our lumberjacks will work in both these tiles or go to whatever tiles they need to go to. So they will walk over here to capture things as needed or excuse me, to get the, the trees as needed. So we'll get another two of our sun people to become farmers over here and start working the cows. Our other house was just built, fantastic. Now, if we wanted to capture this territory with the wolves done, we could, or we would have to kill the wolves. However, if we have enemies attacking through the wolves, the wolves will attack those guys, and that's just a little extra defense. I think our next thing will probably be to capture some sunstone and use that to generate, that's our money, more or less. We'll probably capture this one and then this one because then this will give us stone access. And then there's uh, some fields over here. This is where you can grow farm food. 
Uh, you can fish the water. Obviously, that's a little farther away than it is right now. We could also, excuse me, go this way. If we wanted to capture these boars, that'd be more wood and more food. And then we could capture this and get this stone. So there's a lot of little different options and directions we could take this. But I think next we'll actually be capturing this because we get the sunstone and we will have room probably to put our military barracks in. But we got to wait for our wood to build up a little bit. We're at 160 wood right now. So we'll let our lumberjacks do that for us. Um, there is no fast speed. Uh, there's one and quarter speed. So we will have to play at one speed. And as we progress, we'll get a little faster. Or hopefully as the game progresses, they might add faster speed. Let's get a good shot of our people here outside our castle. There we go. Look at that there. So they're just standing around waiting for us to give them a job. Or we can train them into archers once we get enough wood. All right. The next thing we're going to build, like I said, will be that military barracks actually we'll probably do an archery range next that's 300 wood i guess they're both 300 wood so yeah we'll probably put an archery ring next and we'll start training some archers up for us we could or we will need to get sunstone we are losing 35 a minute let's look and see how much a sunstone um quarry is or workshop excuse me 300 wood as well hmm well i think defense is more important than money at this point so we will wait for that the good news is these trees will grow back over time uh, as our lumberjacks cut them down they'll take some time to grow back it's not like once they're cut down they uh, can no longer be used uh, our blue flame moved so let's move these guys over here so we will um, the the wood will generate or regenerate over time we don't have to keep expanding to get more wood all right so we hit 300 wood so let's go to Oh, it's nighttime, so we can't build any more buildings. So our people will go ahead and shelter in the houses in our little castle here. And here comes the swordsmen. They're over there. And I think they're going to be intercepted by the wolves. Let's go take a peek. Yep, they're going to be attacked by the wolves. So you can see they are killing some of the, the moon axemen. So that will make our lives a little easier. As these last, well, it looks like three axemen make it to our swordsmen. And our swordsmen will easily take care of them and the wolves were able to knock out the other axemen so we survived our first night so we're on to day two the trees respawn uh so we will be able to uh get some more lumber here let's go ahead and reposition our swordsmen over here because this will be the next attack and that's where that attack will come from let's go ahead and put down our archer range right next to the farm there perfect we'll put that there so then our, our sun people our solars our, our residents whatever will come over here and build this and then we can go ahead and start training them and getting them ready to be archers the the important thing will be for us to build some towers build some walls because that will provide us some great protection all right so that is getting built we got 148 wood so once we get 100 and or excuse me 300 wood we'll probably build another uh, the sunstone workshop down here so we can start to get that sunstone we will probably also need another house that's 150 um i guess yeah let's just go ahead and plop this other house down right there so we can make sure we have plenty of people and i'm going to go ahead and recruit two archers uh, actually let's just make it five archers there we go go ahead and recruit five archers and those will back up our swordsmen Obviously, having a ranged unit means you can do damage at range. As we progress and the attacks get bigger, they will have archers. There's, they have their version of swordsmen. Axemen are, I think, a little bit weaker than a swordsman. They will also bring trolls. I've seen catapults. I've seen battering rams. Uh, so they have plenty of options to attack our little city here. Let's see. We have a, we're producing a do, 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 80 food a minute, and we're losing 70. So we've got plenty of food, or we got ten over 10 food needed. Uh, we are still starting to lose a lot of money. Um, so let's go ahead and you know, we're at 238 wood. So we just got to wait a little bit longer for that wood to be produced. We could put another lumber hut over here if we wanted to, or maybe kind of in the middle of the two. Um, but I think we will wait. 
and let let these guys get. And I think that should be enough. 286. Okay, so we gotta wait a little one more cycle and we should have enough wood to put down the sunstone workshop. I think we got our five archers, four archers. That last guy is finishing his training. And then we'll have five archers and five swordsmen. That's a nice little accompaniment of soldiers there. So he'll come out. And there we go. We got five archers trained up and ready to back up our swordsmen. So they will walk over there. We've got one, two, three, four people ready. Do we hit 300 wood? Yep, we hit 300 wood. So let's go ahead and put our sunstone workshop down. We'll put that right there. And that will be used to generate some money. As you can see, we're almost out of money. So hopefully we get this built soon and can start getting some stun, sunstone excuse me, for us. Good news is when this attack comes, they'll have to come through these three wolves. So that'll provide us a little extra protection. The other thing we could do for sunstone for money is go ahead and build a market stall. So let's go ahead and drop a market stall down here. And we'll put that right there. So that market stall will be able to sell, I think dairy farms make cheese or milk or something like that. And that's gonna get us a little extra sunstone. So let's go ahead and assign our two workers there. This market is about done. All right, so it can sell milk, wool, deer leather, boar leather, caviar, or flour. Um, so let's go ahead and put a worker in there. And maybe we have to wait for that worker to come over here. There we go, yep, so he's gonna sell milk. Yep, select that milk. And that should start producing a little extra sunstone and some happiness. There we go. So as we expand, uh, we lose happiness, but the markets will kind of help balance that out. How are we doing? We got 102 wood. So we'll wait for 150 wood and we'll build ourselves another little house right there. Sunstone guys are going good. So we're producing 270 sunstone a minute and losing 85 of that. So we have a, a nice positive balance there. All right, let's go ahead and general. We were in general house. We got to wait. Um, churches are interesting. So churches would allow us to resurrect our soldiers. Uh, we need some a lot of wood and some stone for that. Uh, tavern, I've never built a tavern. I think it just provides some extra happiness. Well, again, I, I built one, but I never saw the, the the benefit of it, the bonuses that come from it. Markets, we've already looked at. Warehouses, uh, extra storage for wood and stone. Barn, extra storage for food. And then the treasury is newly safe. Sunstone storage. Taxes can be assigned here. It gives the income for each production building, but lowers happiness. So you got to balance. If you got a high happiness and you need a little extra money, you could build a treasury. So there's a couple new buildings in there, some storage and treasuries. Let's see, no new production buildings. Like I said, military-wise, they added the siege workshop and the stone tower and stone walls and then decorations. I don't know if they added anything new decoration-wise, but there's some decorations that you can use to make your castle a beautiful place to live. How are our lumberjacks doing? They are doing fine. We've got 170 wood, so let's go ahead Oh, it's nighttime. I was getting ready to build that house, so I guess we will not be building that. There are the attackers, so let's position our troops right here. They will kind of march over there, and we got quite a few of the axemen coming. So let's get ready to defend our castle here. And as you can see, our archers are lining up and taking some nice shots at them. Shooting out some of these moon axemen. And looks like we should be able to survive this attack with ease. Now, as we progress, like I said, these attacks will get worse and harder as their little army grows. As you can see, it looks like it may be doubled in size or so. All right, and that's the last of them. So rah, 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 go us. Next attack will be coming from over there. So we will not have the help of wolves. So we'll position our troops there. And then let's go ahead and get our other house built and we'll plop that down right there and that will give us ample soldiers or excuse me ample people and i think it'll be time to probably train up five more archers four or five there we go five more archers there 
The other thing we could do is, I think we are gonna build another lumber mill over here, just so we're producing a lot more stone. And let's drop that right there, perfect. So it will be able to get these trees, and then maybe we will buy this spot for 120, which will give us a little more trees. Or actually, we'll probably buy this one. Not as many trees, but it has sunstone down here, which will be nice, and we could build another sunstone workshop. And make sure we've got plenty of money rolling in. I really like this game so far. Um, if you read my review on Steam, please go read it. It's an easy game or easier game than Stronghold, but it still gives you that castle building um, simulator. There's not as you know the the production chains aren't crazy or anything like that, but you still have the the combat, the the building the walls, archers, the the fun parts of Stronghold, but just not as in depth, and that's okay. I like the art style. Uh, a little bit cartoonish, a little bit childish, but that's okay. It, um, you know, is nice on the eyes, and I really like it. I really like it a lot. So certainly check it out on Steam. It just came out, like I said, a couple days ago. It's on sale. It's 10% off. I think I picked it up for like 13 or $14. So definitely check it out. I know it's an early access, and some people uh, are extremely afraid of early access games, but for 15 bucks, even if you don't like it, and, you know, it, it's a fun little game that you can spend some hours playing and get a good benefit out of it. All right, let's go ahead and add two more gentlemen, or two more people, excuse me, to the sawmill over there to start producing more wood. And we will have these archers come over here and join their comrades in arms. The next building we will need to get, I think, Builder's Guild probably wouldn't hurt. Tavern, if we needed more happiness. We're only at plus two happiness. Um... Mm -hmm. I think the next thing might be is because I, I don't see myself expanding and if we do we can just put gates so I think the next thing is let's get a wall here so we'll go military wooden wall 450 wood that is quite a bit of wood I want it to face the other way face the other way please I just had it there we go go ahead and face that way so they're going to put that wall up there for us and then we will have to build a tower as well put it right here in the middle and that way we can get our archers up there and they can uh, shoot down on the enemies all right so our lumberjacks will harvest some more wood for us we're at 170 we need we do need quite a bit of wood to build this tower so let's see if we'll be able to get that before the end of this day he's gonna go down there and grab that for us we did lose some trees that were on the border. That's okay though. All right, and there's our wall. Nice and built. It is kind of cool to see the blue flames. They move onto the back of the wall. They don't just disappear. There we go, that last piece just popped in. So a little bit different. There's the flames there showing us where they're coming from. We could build the ramp. It is pretty cheap, 60 wood. Uh, we're at 290 now. So we'll wait and we'll put up a wooden tower right here so we can put our archers in there. So we'll just give our lumberjacks a few more seconds here just to gather the last little bit of wood we need. And we'll get that tower up in no time. We got about 2 minutes and 20 seconds until the next attack. So let's see, what else can we do while we wait? There we go, 314. Alright, so let's drop that tower right there. And as you can see, you could upgrade to a stone tower. You could uh, change the wall side, um, so if we wanted to flip it. We could do that, um, or we could make it double-sided, but there's no purpose for us to do that right now. Um, I think eventually on these towers, you can put siege weapons up there as well. Uh, I think catapults or trebuchet, something like that, and rain rocks down on your enemies as well. So that is almost built, about halfway done, and we'll get our archers up there. As you can see, you could put archers on the wall as well. You can use the towers as methods to get it there. It's that door that just popped in. So we can either put them up here, or we could put them here, but they can't quite reach it yet. There we go. The tower is built. So we could put our 10 archers on here if we wanted, or we could put the 10 of them up here, or 9 of them it looks like, and then one guy down on the wall. So let's send those archers up there. We are still doing good on money. We have income of 270, losing 135. So we can go ahead and train up a couple more archers. So let's go ahead and train up 
four more. Yeah, we'll do five more because that'll be 15 total. And then we will have these swordsmen. We'll have to shift them depending on which way the attack comes. But we will let those archers train up for us. This tile is 120. Let's go ahead and capture it. So our lumberjacks can get the wood from there as well. And we will build, when we have enough wood, another sunstone uh, workshop right here to make sure our money is rolling in for us. Next attack is coming here very soon. 21 seconds left. Let's go ahead and move these two archers that are trained. We'll move them up there. Have as much defense as possible. Let's get a good look at the outside of the wall. I'm thinking we'll put our gate somewhere in here. And then just keep walling this castle off. All right, it is nighttime. Ooh, here comes the enemies. We got... Let's see, a couple trolls and some moon knights. You can see the arrows raining down from our archers. Hopefully they're able to knock. Looks like we're gonna knock that troll out. Let's swing our swordsmen over here. And it looks like they'll be able to knock out a lot of these uh, moon knights before they can even reach the wall. So the benefits of building that tower is it really extends the range of your archers. They're gonna do a number on that troll. He's not even gonna be able to reach us. And down he goes and we survive another attack. What a day. So our next attack will be over here. All right, so we will start bringing our troops over here and we'll probably put a tower up over here as well. So that is the start of our castle. We got a good start here. We built our keep. We got some housing, food, some money being produced, a little place to train our archers. Don't forget to like the video, comment, whether you want me to keep making more Be Castled videos or you can comment on another game you want me to try. I also appreciate any and all feedback on audio quality, video quality. I am still new to this and need any and all feedback. And don't forget to subscribe to the Tooth and Scrubs gaming channel so you get this great content on time and in an orderly fashion. Thank you so much for stopping by and we'll see you in the next Be Castled video.